This video is how to set up and use the Phantom Wallet mobile app, mainly a Solana wallet. However, you can also use Bitcoin, Ethereum and Polygon in this wallet as well. I'll show you how to do that in this video. So we're going to press create a new wallet. It's going to take us through to ask us, do we want to use our biometrics to log in and out of the wallet? It's just an extra security step. So you can do that if you want. And then the next page is our recovery phrase. This is your wallet. So what this enables us to do is reload our wallet on any other device. Our wallet and all of the assets that we have in our wallet are on the blockchain and not on our phone. But if you lose your phone or delete the app, you can just use this phrase to recover your wallet anywhere else. So the phrase is your wallet and it's the important thing. Write it down somewhere, keep it extremely safe because if you lose it and you lose your device, you'll never get any of your stuff back. Also, if someone knows your seed phrase, they have access to your wallet because they can load your wallet on their device. So it's super important to keep this extremely safe. Make sure you don't lose it because this is your wallet. Once you've written that seed phrase down, just press get started and it'll enter you into the wallet. However, I'm going to also show you how to recover a wallet. If you've already got a phantom wallet on your computer and you've set up the seed phrase, you can recover it here. So import an existing wallet. And then from here, it says, do you want to protect it? And it says, how do you want to Im import that wallet? So import secret recovery phrase. That's the thing we just had. So if you've got that already, just import it here and you'll see all of the assets that you have. You can also import a private key if you've done that from your existing wallet. So you can export private keys and you'll get that and you can import that there. But you can see connect hardware wallet as well. So if you do have a ledger device, which is a completely separate wallet with its own seed phrase, do not load that seed phrase in here because then you've turned that hardware wallet into a software wallet. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is connect the wallet to the software wallet. So if you have a hardware wallet, just press connect hardware wallet. You can go through with that. So you'll need a Ledger Nano X. You can turn on the Bluetooth and then you can sign transactions with your hardware wallet, but you can actually interact with applications using this. So if you have that option, then you can uh, import it like that. Uh, and if you have a recovery phrase, just import it. And then that will go through into your wallet and all the assets that you've had before will still be here. Once you're in the app, you can toggle on and off the networks that you want to use. Like I said, this is a Solana wallet mainly, but we can also receive Ethereum assets and Bitcoin. So in the top left, click the settings, go to active networks. You can see them here. You can toggle them on and off. If you toggle them on, that means that you can now receive those assets and see them in your balance. However, because these are different blockchains, they have different receive addresses or wallet addresses. So even though this is one wallet and we control all of it via that seed phrase that we got, these wallet addresses are different. And so when we're sending in assets, we have to make sure that we have the correct address. I'll show you that in a second when we're receiving assets though. Also important, if you go to account one right here, just down below, we see manage accounts. So I'm gonna click that. We can add different accounts into our wallet. So an account is kind of like a bank account where you can maybe have a savings and you can have a checking and maybe another one, but they're all within your main bank account. That's what an account is right here. So we have the seed phrase and that's how we control this wallet. However, within the wallet, we can also have multiple accounts. So we can have account one, account two, account three, and we may use them for different things. However, they are all linked to that seed phrase that we got. So if you recover the wallet with that seed phrase somewhere else, you'll have all of these multiple accounts. Now these accounts, have different public addresses. So account one and account two will have a different receive address. If you're sending assets, that will be different. However, they're all linked to that same seed phrase. So that one seed phrase controls multiple accounts if you want them. And it also controls multiple different blockchain receive addresses through different blockchains. So that's all within this wallet and it's controlled via that seed phrase. I'll now deposit Solana tokens from my centralized exchange into the wallet so that we can use the Solana network uh, either swap some Solana for something else or stake Solana or do anything else on that network. So the thing to remember is that each network has the same address. No matter what you're sending, it goes to that same address. So if you're sending Solana tokens, we can press that, press receive. This is our Solana address to send the Sol tokens to. So I can copy that and then go over to send them from my centralized exchange. If you're also receiving some other token on the Solana network, like a stable coin, USDC or any other coin, you can press receive up at the top left here and it just gives you the Solana address. That Solana address is the same for all tokens. So you can just send it to that address and then it'll come within your wallet on that blockchain. 
So I've got my Solana address copied. It doesn't matter what token I'm sending. If it's on the Solana network, it's going to get to me. So what I'll do is go over to my centralized exchange and I have some Sol tokens here and I can press withdraw and then send via crypto network. And this is the same for every single exchange. So you're going to buy the token that you want. You're going to withdraw it uh, via the crypto network, which in this occasion is Solana. So send via crypto network. I'm then going to choose the network right here, which clearly is Solana because that's the one we want to use. And then we need to paste in my wallet address like this. And then from here, it says you've got a balance of Solana. So we are receiving that Solana to our address that we just copied from our wallet and we're withdrawing any amount. And we have to use a Solana network because this is a Solana address. So we can press withdraw right here. Uh, if you want some deposit bonuses to the centralized exchanges I use, I'll leave them down in the description as well. What we can also do though, is actually go out and find a token that may be uh, existing on the Solana blockchain that we want to send. So for example, USDC, which many people may want to deposit into their wallet. So we're going to press withdraw, send via crypto network, and we're going to paste in the address here. It's the exact same address because that is my Solana address to my wallet. And then from right here, if we go to network, it says Solana because the address format that we're using is a Solana address format. So Binance already know that it's Solana that we're using. So press Solana and then you can withdraw an amount to your wallet address. So whatever you're sending, you just have to make sure that you're sending to the address that you want it to go to and that you're using the proper network. So you're sending and receiving on the uh, network that you want to use Solana or the other networks that are supported. We now have a balance of Solana tokens in our wallet, as you can see here. So now we can send them to another wallet. So we'll press Solana and then press send. And from here it says, where do you want to send those assets? So this goes to any Solana blockchain wallet. If it's another blockchain wallet from Phantom, or if it's a Binance wallet or another centralized exchange, all you have to do is just paste in that wallet address and you can send the tokens over to that wallet address. The only thing we need to know is that each blockchain transaction, we have to pay for that with an amount of sell, not a lot, but you do have to pay a transaction fee when using a blockchain. So we always need some SOL tokens to pay for the fee. If we're sending SOL, we can just pay for that together with the transaction. If you're sending another coin like USDC, then you always need some SOL in your wallet to send that USDC as well. So from here, we're gonna send SOL back to the centralized exchange so that we can actually sell it and cash out. So we're gonna go back to the centralized exchange. I've got sold the token right here and I'm going to press deposit. It's then going to say, where do you want to deposit this from? We're depositing from the Solana network. So we are um, sending on Solana and receiving on Solana. So Binance, I'm going to press Solana here. And this is my Binance Solana wallet address. So I'm going to copy this. That's where we want to send it. Uh, so we, we've copied that. Then we go back to the Phantom wallet. Um, we're going to press paste right here. It's going to check that this is an actual wallet that they can send Solana to, which it has done. We're going to press next. And then it says, well, how much soul do you want to actually send out? So let's just do 0 0.05. That's an amount that we can send. So you go to next. It says you're sending this amount of soul. You're sending it to this wallet address. You're sending it on Solana and the network fee right here. If you press send, you will pay for that transaction with a small amount of soul and the soul will be sent over to whichever wallet that you paste into the recipient field right here. We can also use Phantom Wallet to stake our Solana tokens, which is getting some of the blockchain rewards back into our token. So if you press Solana, the token here, and then press start earning Sol, there's two ways to do this. One is native staking and one is liquid staking. So native staking is where you take your Solana tokens, you put them on a validator, and then you get the validator rewards from the blockchain. That's fine, but you have to lock up your Sol which means that you can't use it once it's locked up and you can't sell it until you unstake, which does take, I think, a few days. Liquid staking is pretty much the same thing, but you're given a liquid token that represents your stake. As you can see, the APY or the yield that you get from the blockchain is almost the same, but you have a second token in your wallet that represents the value of your soul being staked. So you earn the staking rewards all the same, but you can buy it and sell it immediately and you can also use it in DeFi for other things if you want. So most people use liquid staking just because it's quicker uh, and you can buy and sell immediately. So I'll show you both the options. Native staking, if you press that, you have to choose a validator to put your soul with. And the estimated APY, as you can see, does differ a little bit. So choose the one that's going to be best 
um, for you. So I'll just press Phantom Validator as an example. Choose an amount of cell that you want to lock up. Press Next, and that cell gets locked up with the, uh, the validator that you choose. If you want to unstake, you can do that. Once you've got a staked amount, it will actually show you right here in your soul balance. It will show that you have a staked amount here. You can press that, press unstake, and that will take a few days to actually unstake. And then you can go ahead and use a soul. You can either sell it or use it for transaction fees or anything else. Liquid staking, if you press this, all you're doing is just swapping your soul in for GTO staked, staked soul. It's the exact same value as soul plus the 6% APY that you're getting right now. So each year, the value will go up 6%. And so you can buy it and sell it very easily, which is why a lot of people use this. So again, you just put an amount in, press next, and then you can see that, and that's the APY that you're getting uh, from the sell that you put in. You can see that you're actually receiving slightly less GTO sell than you're paying in, in sell tokens. That's because GTO sell is getting more expensive in relation to sell because of the staking rewards over time. So as you can see in my balance, I've actually got GTO stake sell here. So it's exactly the same as sell plus the APY that you're getting uh, from the staking rewards. The difference being I can buy and sell this immediately and there's no lockups. I'll show you how to do that then by going to the swap feature. So up at the top, you can press swap here. It just takes you through to this page. You can also get to it via each of the tokens that you have a balance of. So I've got GTO stake sell here. I can press swap and it's the same thing. So we're going to go over to the swap feature, which is actually the middle button here. And you can choose the tokens that you want to swap. So I've got some uh, GTO cell and I'm going to swap that into just normal Solana. So you have to swap on the same blockchain. So make sure that you're choosing assets on the same blockchain here. So GTO cell into Sol. So I can press an amount and it's going to tell me the uh, exchange rate and the transaction fees. So up at the top right, you can see the slippage settings. Um, 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 is fine for this. So large tokens should have very low slippage, under 0.3%. If you're trading small tokens or crazy tokens, the slippage may be extreme. Slippage is the difference between the price quote that you get given here and the actual price that is traded on the blockchain. So 1% slippage is a 1% worse trade than what it tells you that you're going to get. 10% slippage is a 10% worse trade, etc. So for large tokens, you shouldn't be expecting anything above 0.3, 0.5%. So if I want to sell some GTO stake sell that I've got, um, that's going into sell tokens. Now, you need to pay a transaction fee here in sell tokens. So make sure you've always got some sell to actually go ahead and swap this. Uh, and what we're doing right here is, is we're using Whirlpool and Radium um, because uh, Phantom Wallet is an aggregator in this case. So it's just going to give us the best trade from all of the DEXs on Solana. I can review the order. And then if I'm happy with it, um, I can go ahead and uh, go ahead and swap. Now, as you can see down at the bottom, Phantom charge 85 basis points as a extra transaction fee here. That's extremely high. So I wouldn't recommend swapping direct, directly within Phantom Wallet. You're going to be paying almost 1% more for your trade, which might be okay for some people, but it's unnecessary to pay this. But it is easy. If you want to swap, you can do that right here within Phantom Wallet. If you are looking to swap tokens, I would recommend using exchanges directly. You're going to get a better trade because you don't pay the Phantom fee on top. So we can go to the browser tab in the bottom right and then go to a decentralized exchange directly. So Jupiter is a DEX aggregator. Radium is a DEX itself. So you can choose these and use whichever one that you want. I'll just show you connecting. So Jupiter right here, and it's connecting me directly to the uh, decentralized exchange on Solana. So what I can do now is connect my wallet and then I can swap directly using this DAP. So we're gonna press connect in the top right. I've got Phantom, so we'll press that. Account one, if you've got multiple accounts, you can connect them separately. So I'm gonna press connect right here and then my wallet is connected. So what we should see is that my Solana balance is now being read by the application because I've connected my wallet to it. So I can use this and actually swap on here and make a trade and pay for that transaction using my wallet. And I don't pay the extra swap fee on uh, Phantom Wallet. You can connect to any application using this browser. So either search for the apps right here or just type in the website URL at the top and then you can open the app directly in your wallet. I'll leave some other helpful DeFi videos in the description below and the exchange deposit bonuses down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.